4th of July, 2012, Greenwood, Indiana. The garden's been planted since March. Uh, this is a little update video for the, the video I gave not too long ago. I uh, left the weeds in here because we've been having a drought. As you can see, yards everywhere except for right here around my garden are completely brown. No, no green whatsoever. So I think the weeds have, uh, have really helped out on, on keeping this soil moist and, and uh, prepared for the vegetables. Uh, I just did a little trimming and uh, took the weeds out just down to a, a manageable level. Anyway, uh, I, when I did, I, I uncovered the, the cucumber here and, and found my first cucumbers going on. One, a couple more in there. So they're doing, uh, certainly coming back. Uh, there's, uh, let's see down in there. Right there. Some asparagus there. There's the second one. It's the first year. So from the reading I've been doing, I just leave it in there and let it go. Uh, strawberries here. I just actually picked one. Should have saved it to show you, but there's, uh, there's another one going on. It's the first year for these strawberries, so you know, I've been hearing that they shouldn't produce strawberries the first year. But anyway, uh, onions all all bent over and coming out. So hopefully they'll develop that skin on there. Oh, looks like it's, uh, it's getting ready to. Um, I got uh, bell peppers over here coming up. Yeah, that's for sure. There's a, a pretty decent one there. I got uh, these five bell peppers here. One, two, three, four, five, and then those three there. And every single one of them has has bell peppers on it. Um, we got uh, oh, here's a little bee. Um, cabbage here. Not too bad. This one's the best one. Probably about the size of a basketball there. So that's pretty good. Pretty good size. Ghost peppers. I, I don't know what's going on with them. I was really excited about them. And, you know, they started flowering. And I don't know if you can see the flowers or not. Up in there. But uh, flowers just... just they go, they go to flower and then, and then the flowers just fall off. But there's another one there. And then uh, they aren't they aren't growing anything. So those two there, that one and that one. I don't know what uh, what's going on with that. Uh, spicy banana peppers. I've been harvesting two or three a day just to take into lunch, going to work for lunch or whatever. They've uh, they've been flourishing. That's for. For sure and you know kind of started to figure out what to do and when to pick them to make them the hottest possible um, tomatoes are I mean they're as tall as me they're five and a half foot you know, a little bit less but um, no tomatoes in there first first one that's starting to ripen is that little guy ain't quite done yet it looks a lot better on the screen than it does in real life, but I mean, there's phew, I bet I got 150 tomatoes in there. Not to mention the, the Romas are just packed over there. Um, peas, I don't know, every time my daughter comes out here, it's the first thing that she goes for. She's only two, and she uh, she picks these peas like mad crazy. Uh, look, there's uh, there's a couple pea pods there. I don't know. They've been uh, they've been picked on us for sure, but kids love them. We love them. Here's a snake I use to keep the the birds out. Birds kind of gone away now. I don't know whether it's because they got older and, and flew away or what. But uh, here's one of the jalapeno plants. This one's been here for two years. It's, uh, it's certainly certainly coming back out of its funk. 
two years ago. I just harvested a bunch of this uh, cilantro there and dried it out. Didn't want it to go to seed. And of course, there's some right here that's starting to go to seed. I'm going to plant that, clear a spot maybe over there, and put it over there. And more, uh, more of these spicy banana peppers. Eh? They certainly love growing here. I got three more plants there. Got another jalapeno plant. It's, uh, I don't know, probably 50 or 60 peppers on that one. And this is a cayenne pepper plant. There. Yeah, I like peppers. I know. There's uh, some big long ones there. Going. This one's stunted at growth, but uh, it's doing pretty good. Now, I'm starting to get some peppers on it. Another jalapeno plant, more like 50 peppers on it, too. There's lots of them. Beans there. Harvested a buttload of those. There's uh, some beans in there. Oh, last thing I'm going to show you. This is, uh, well, I guess, two things. There's some carrots down there. Uh, first year I've ever grown them, so. Let's see. It's, uh, and I got these bad boys here too. They're, they're growing like crazy. These are scotch bonnets. They're all over the place. There's a nice big one there. Nice one there. the size of my kind of finger there. Awesome. Anyway, the dog. I got some cherry tomato plants over there too. And share them with the neighbors. Alright, maybe I'll uh, take another video when I when I harvest again. So, till then. <laughs>